The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Incoming transport detected. Mars approach, Dark Star with U07063 passing through 38000. Roger, Dark Star. Descend to 2000, set speed, contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on fun. We've got Dark Star, you are set for lockdown. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. I gotta process the cargo log. I can't talk with you now. Welcome to Mars City. Union Aerospace is premier get research facility. To expedite your processing, rock. please proceed you directly to too. reception. You're staying here. Watch your back. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This'll only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. Alright, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientists. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up to your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. You better move along. It looks like you've got some important things to do.
Mars City is a smoke-free facility. Please haven't seen you before. You must be with areas. that new detachment Thank coming to check on us. Is there some type of problem? I'm just trying to get my work done here. I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No. But I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money. Some product. Don't worry. They'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruga, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. Listen, buddy, you don't have clearance for this area. Move along. I can't help you here. Head to Marine Command. They can help you. Excuse me. I don't think I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. Try not to let this place get in your head. Just stay focused on your job, and you'll be back on Earth before you know it. Excuse me. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernays. Miller, November. You're about Corporal Allen. Another newbie. Welcome to the worst day of the couple of heat shields this morning with no problems. Another replacement, I did, huh? however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sound, Super Turbo not Turkey Puncher. Three. The work logs, and I was the only person scheduled Super to be in that Turbo area. Super Turkey Puncher. Three. The stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs has been pretty freaked out. Yeah, so those suits really are too. I hate going down to the yeah. underground maintenance area. The UAC must be People down there get a bit off, the mumbling, weird looks. All places just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my Not tools, to do the busted here. modulator, and the storage we'll cabinet next back. to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. Me, man. Look, all I do is repair the Marine Command is right around the corner. Why don't you go bother someone there? I'm really trying to get this fixed quickly, so, uh, do you mind? If you can fix this, you can stay and help, but otherwise, get going. Attention, Dr. Braddock, please report to Please report to Sergeant Kelly ASAP. He's in Command HQ. Don't waste any more time. Go see the Sarge. Sarge is gonna have your ass if you don't get the Command HQ pronto. If you're late reporting in, Sarge will have you patrolling outside. I'm trying to reconfigure this little guy. I, like I can't talk to another security team here in Delta. Yes, sir. Don't you have some orders you need to be following? Took your sweet time, Marine. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. A 
programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. Pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. When you complete your mission, report back here. Move out. No time to talk, bud. We both got work to do. Are you deaf, Marine? You got a mission to perform. You can't stay here. Didn't you hear, Sarge? He gave you a mission. Move out, Marine. Attention, UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credits? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service director for more details. The UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. I've fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sound, checked the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off, the mumbling, the weird looks. All places are just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. Mars Sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction, then straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Oh, don't get excited. Oh. 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 Excuses. 
Just do your job and get the science team what they need. Well, I'm doing everything, but... Jeez! <laughs> you make a habit of sneaking up on people? Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. The garage area is right through that door. Now stop bothering me. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. Assistance I can't let... I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. He built his cave. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. God. We can't hold these levels. We're losing it! Back to Marine HQ to regroup.
Please report directly to Marine.
Grant Bastin, your environmental services supervisor. Date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky. So we always have the occasional report of strange things. Oh, but what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up on the line. Aren't helping at all. All units. Having the light switch on constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down. Negative ID. I've done my best to keep these points down. We're continually shorthanded. We're only reporting in six months. I've got my own air. I've got my drive to apply to the steep limit. I've continued to log reports as I get them. Back to Marine HQ and await further orders.
Nicholas Wilson. My team is gone. They're all dead. I'm running blind here. What are my orders? Over. Specialist Wilson, this is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp. Look to your last known RT and fortify your position. Grant Bast, your environmental services supervisor. Date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some of them. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky. So we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that a number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. Power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people on track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation. I think need to log reports if I get them. Audio log for Dr. Casey, currently stationed at Mars City. I have just left the weekly status meeting here in medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range has even manifested itself here in medical. We uh, had several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. Do we have our being overworked and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Dr. Casey now. Audio log. Dr. Mark Casey at 1547, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed. I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed. In 20 minutes, he was left unattended. Ah, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. Dr. Casey and I.
Mission established. Marine. I can't believe you're still alive. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the dome. Marine. I can't believe you're still alive. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta Complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo Team and get that transmission sent. Audio report confirming new troop deployments to the Mars City Marine Facility, October 30th, 2145. The new troops will be arriving within a few days. I've started a series of training exercises focusing on close quarter small weapons combat, as well as instituting mandatory refresher courses on all munitions and weapons in our armory. In response to the large number of security breaches and general feelings of ill will around the base, I've doubled security details, placing two Marines at each checkpoint. This additional presence should help calm this down. I expect that the incoming Marines are not quite as green as the last deployment. They've turned out okay, but some combat experience will go a long way right now. Sergeant Tyson, out. Services are free and confidential. Marine, if you run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower.
get the Bravo team quicker. They need all the firepower they can get. Sending that transmission is critical to our survival. Ah. Ah.